Big job! Thank you. Big, big, huge applause to this amazing woman. Okay. We have second big mobilizer. Who might it be? Do you know? It's like a squeeze. A quiz? Quiz, yeah? No, it's Pakistan. Shaheed Iqbal, are you here? Oh. Make a big applause because last year it was 3 million, now 2.5 million. Congratulations. Pakistan, Sindabad. Smart, baby. Thank you, thank you. Smart. Third mobilizer. I heard already. USA, Stephen Peel, are you here? Now we know who is missing the party. Okay. Steve and Bill, you are not here. Okay. Then, also, we talk about the highest percentage of volunteers per capita. Exactly. You know very well that it's Kyrgyzstan. Let's go. to share the Kyrgyzstan best practice, experience, lesson learned to other countries. You are welcome. Thank you. And we are going to the next highest mobilizer per capita, and it is Bulgaria. Beautiful ladies are running. So it was uh, six percent, and we have to say it was a national TV station who is organizing it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Next award is actually the same. A country who mobilized 5% of the population, 800,000 mobilized all their public sector. Do we know who it is? Cambodia. Yes, it is Cambodia. lady, our beloved partner in mapping from Trash Out, Lucia. Woo! So Lucia wants to say some words. So, um, you know, like last year, also this year, we organized the mapping campaign. There were a few countries that participated. We got a lot of data. But that was one that was really like standing out from the crowd, which was Mo Mozambique. So if you can come here, Mozambique, you did the best job. Thing. Uh, I want to appreciate Kadri Maripu, which did, who did like amazing job for the past two years. She was doing, you know, different guidelines, different wow. presentations. She was amazing. So thank you, Kadri. Kadri, come here. Kadri, Carlos, you are those also Mozambique. <laughs> Smile bigger. 
Thank you. This country also mobilized more than 300,000 people. It's the biggest mobilizer in Africa, Mozambique. Okay, um, and this is interesting. The coolest campaign for World Cleanup Day 2019. China. Oh, China. Okay, China it is. <laughs> She's so cool, and the campaign is cool too. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Another coolest World Cleanup Day campaign 2019. Who it might be? Estonia. Estonia. Oh, you know? oh, sorry. I just have eyes here. Okay. Estonia, Mart Normat. Where are you? Eger, Gerli. I have two more people here, at least. Eger, Gerli, on stage. Quick, quick, quick. Now we will see who really did the campaign. I mean, look, Eger and Gerli. Nigeria. Oh, he does a lot of energy. Okay, the next is I. This is really hard. I think we don't know this answer for sure. Social media influencer? China! 2019, it's a person. Julia Margel, where are you? Queen is coming. Of course it's a surprise, it's supposed to be a surprise. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Of course I like your hugs, but more I like your likes in Instagram. <laughs> so if you give me more likes, I will be so happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Julia, for doing this amazing hard work. Yeah. Then is the most extraordinary cleanup. Extraordinary place, extraordinary people. <laughs> it's the Arctic by association of Arctic expedition cruise operators. Oh, Iceland. Mm. Norway. 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 Cruise operators Denmark. from Arctic. The polar bears. <laughs> no here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then it's a word for our partner who I know is not here anymore. But the best partner of mobilizer, do you know who is? Was on the stage as well. Decathlon. Not here, but let's make a big applause. Yes, thank you. Um, then, as we are working as. Um, network also trying to work um, as much as global level and support each other as much as possible um, first time we have this kind of award which is most successful team and engaging global partners by the way there are several teams who are working on it very very well um, I want to mention um, many countries were working in this way, but here is one team who have made a really great work and engaged really big partners, some of them one of the world's biggest ones, like Alliance Group. So, um, a big team who was before here, 
Yes, Germany. Holger, where are you? The most amazing photos during the World Cleanup Day. Interesting. I don't know how we actually selected, but it was selected. It is Syria. Do we have someone from Syria? 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 No. Then. Uh, it's really hard country to make a cleanup in, in so many levels. And we all have to help each other, but especially I think this country, so big, so diverse, so wild. And this country has made the biggest increase in volunteer numbers. It's growing. And it is India. Pradeep. Pradeep and Bankaj, are you here? Ah, they are in the exhibition? Okay. Just a second. Somebody is coming. Congratulations. Actually, this country was part already 2018 too, in, in, in no, 1980, of course. And, uh, but they came on board really, really a few months before the World Clean Up Day 2018. Um, but I really was, it was amazing actually how they grow in this, during this World Clean Up Day. By growing 200,000 in Europe, big country again. And uh, it's the best newcomer. If you might be saying, I'd like to say it's Poland. Is someone from Poland here? Yes. Poland. Big yes. applause. Again, I think you will recognize. She said already, the most fashionable cleanup. Italy, Italy yes. Vincenzo. Thank you. No, I, say, I, I can say only blah 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 because. <laughs> I thought so. Yes, I, I would only invite all uh, to participate the next uh, Milano Fashion Week. Uh, And uh, I have to say that so many leaders are very huge inspiration in their stories. Um, but for me, last, or for us actually, in last uh, conference, there was one person who was sharing his story of really, really hard country to make a cleanup. And it was so super emotional. I, I have to say that all year I have been thinking about it, it. And I think this is really, really bravest leader 
in our Let's Do It Well network. Nima. Yeah. Iran. Country is Iran. Amazing. Thank you, everyone. Uh, actually, I wouldn't uh, call myself uh, bravest. I would call myself uh, luckiest person uh, because of uh, being a member of this wonderful family and having lovely friends like you all people here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, dear Sibyl, are you here? Please come here. Okay, so there's a few Let's Do It World groups who participated in the global uh, Break Free From Plastic brand audits um, who did incredible work mobilizing huge, huge amounts of people and recording the brand data is a lot of work. It's very time consuming and meticulous and makes a really big impact and a really big difference. And so there's a few Let's Do It World groups who I'm very honored to say thank you to. The first one is Let's Do It Taiwan. They're not here in person, but in spirit. Okay. Also, unfortunately, not here is uh, Let's Do It Ghana, who uh, were really important in the global brand audit. So, thank you, Ghana, if you're watching online. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. Ah, now, this one is a very important participant in the global uh, brand audit. You may have heard of them. Let's Do It Estonia. before we are bringing here all these beautiful people who worked for the conference and this big team. I want to say a really special thank you for a very special lady um, with whom I am a friend, colleague, best partner, working hard. She's an amazing woman, bold, Smart, fantastic, Anneli, I want to say a huge thank you for you. Big applause, come here. I wanted to make a special diploma for her, but I was I was I was in energy not there. I promised to paint to you a, p a painting. Okay? And then is the award for fantastic work and hard work what you have done. 
during all this year and years before. One kiss. Please make one huge applause to Anneli.